On today's adventure, we're scuba diving one of the most mysterious islands in the world. We're currently in Kauai, the oldest of the main Hawaiian islands and our home for the past six months. 18 miles west of Kauai is Niihau, Hawaii's forbidden island. In 1864, the island was purchased by Elizabeth Sinclair from King Kamehameha V for $10,000 in gold and a baby grand piano. The island to this day is completely off limits to outsiders and only once per week a barge crosses the channel to provide goods to the 90 islanders still living there. Any place in the world that is forbidden or off limits like Niihau is so intriguing and we just had to go see it. Sadly, today is our last day living in Kauai, so we're headed to explore the depths of Niihau at three uniquely different dive sites, hoping to see the endangered Hawaiian monks. Good morning and welcome to our last day living here on the island of Kauai. And since moving here back in January, I have dove zero times on this island that I got my dive master certification on. So it's going to be a good day. Yeah. And today's actually a very special day for me too because this is the first time I'm actually seeing Niihau below the surface. On a clear day, Niihau is visible from Kauai's west coast, but it's still a long boat ride from the south shore. So now we have about three hours just to get out to Niihau. But the Niihau channel is full of so much sea life. And if we get really lucky, we might actually see something. Did they just say there's pilot whales? I think there's, I think there's whales. Oh my God, there's pilot whales. They're right over there. Oh there's, my God. There's so many. We saw so many pilot whales in that pod. We saw so many babies and even the matriarch leading them. The last time that we came to Niihau, we saw them as well. I'm pretty sure Ellie is just a very good luck charm for seeing the pilot whales on this special, special charm. We just had our dive briefing and they talked all about the monk seals that hopefully we're about to see. Now let's get geared up. Vertical awareness gets its name from its massive walls that extend deep into the ocean. These walls redirect incoming currents downwards, which push divers deeper and deeper. Only once you look up do you realize how far you've gone. With our air running out, we made our way back to the boat where a monk seal was waiting for us. The perfect end to our first dive. All right, so we just got done with the first dive and it was so incredible. We saw some monk seals, we saw some crazy sharks and like so much else. Yeah. From the moment we went down, there was a shark and a monk seal literally right there. <laughs> and I've never seen a sandbar shark, so. But right now, cool. they are reeling something in as we speak, so we need to go see what they're fishing for. <laughs> he jumped up there when he saw it. He's like, oh, let me reel. Hello. What is it? It's so big. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a tuna. Go poke it. Yeah. Come on, go poke it from the camera. Are they gonna eat it? They're colorful. Yeah, they'll eat it. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, some fresh tuna. Alright, so while we're on our surface interval, I wanna address the elephant in the room. And that is we're not actually diving at Niihau, which is over my shoulder over here. We're diving at the volcano crater called Lehua, which is right next to Niihau. 
And as I kind of explained a little bit, Niihau is a forbidden island, which means you cannot land about there, you cannot dive near their waters, it's really off limits. But luckily, the Niihau channel between Lahu and Niihau is actually the best place for diving here. So that's where we'll be diving the rest of our dives today. Niihau Arches is one of the best dive sites in Hawaii. It's a drift dive, so as you explore the massive structures, there's really no turning back. Exploring its many caverns, you never really know what you'll find living there. second dive we did was Nihau Arches which it has a bunch of swim throughs and a bunch of caves so that was super cool and it actually reminded me a lot of the cenote diving in Mexico. Yeah the water was absolutely beautiful clear and going through the swim throughs you found a lot of really cool stuff on the yeah. inside. Uh, we saw two octopus that mm. were together and they were definitely mating they were a couple because they ran after one another after we kind of uh, egged them out of yeah. their little hiding spot. That was the biggest Hawaiian day octopus I've ever seen. It was pretty big the second yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My new lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> we spent our last surface interval between Lahua and Niihau, avoiding some of the afternoon winds and swells. After two dives, there's nothing better than a lunch and enjoying company on the boat. Third dive, let's go. We're dropping into Neon Cave and then we're doing a drift dive across deep blue water. Pyramid Point, so it's a really good dive. I've done it before, but it's super, super cool. Let's get in the water. At this site, everyone has to jump in at the same time as the boat pulls away. It reminded us why Niihau is not for beginners. Seeing monk seals up close like this is on every diver's bucket list. With only 1,500 monk seals left in the wild, we got incredibly lucky this time. They're curious animals and if they aren't threatened, you can have some incredible encounters with them. If you're patient, they'll come right up to you. It's clear our dive master Erica is a master seal whisperer. They also can be very territorial towards other monk seals and their trademark whoop lets others know to stay away. such a cool dive. Yeah, we got to hang out with the monk seals and we saw a ton of sharks. <laughs> Ellie saw a shark eating a fish, like they were yeah. legit hunting today. It yeah. was really crazy. Super cool. And there was also some like cool sea caves in there that we got to go through. It was, 
It was a really, really cool dive. Yeah. Which one was your favorite? I think my favorite was the How Arches. So yeah, cool. Definitely. It makes you feel like you're at Arches National Park, but underwater. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Alright, well, this boat is getting rowdy on the way back. It is a three hour trip back from Niihau to the south side of Kauai. So, we're in for a long one. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on what's to come. And we'll see you next time on today's adventure.